Here we've got a slightly strange looking function, but um, it doesn't really matter. It's a function, and this question is asking us about transformations. So, part one, sketch the graph of f of x plus 3. So we need to remember that this is a translation. It's in the x direction, but it's actually by minus 3. So we just have to move this. Um, this point at the origin will go to minus 3, will then go up. This point at 2 will go to minus 1. And that's my answer. So every point has been translated by minus 3 in the x direction. Okay, describe fully the transformation which takes f of x to minus f of x. Um, that means that every f of x value becomes negative. So for example, this one here would go down here. This one would actually stay where it was. We'd get this kind of shape. Okay, it's not actually asking us to draw the graph, but it's not a terrible idea. Um, and what what is this? It's a reflection in the x-axis. Or in y equals zero, but it's, I think it's a good chance to say the x-axis. The point two three lies on the graph of a different function. I'm just going to put it on the graph that's here. Um, and then state the coordinates of this image. That means like what happens after you've transformed it when y equals g of x is transformed to y equals 4 g of x. So we need to realize this is a, a stretch of factor 4 in the y direction. So this blue point here is going to go off the graph. It's going to go up here somewhere. And that, that gives us a good uh, feel for what it's going to be. Because the x coordinate is going to stay the same, so I'm going to multiply my y coordinate by 4. It's going to become 2, 12. What happens if I have g of 4x? Um, now, this is a, it's another stretch. It's in the x direction, but it's actually by a factor of a quarter. So this time, the y value is going to stay the same, but it's going to become a half. Um, you can sort of see that if you put half in to this, then you'll get g of 2, and that will give you 3. So, you know, it makes, it, it makes, it does make sense, even though it's a bit confusing sometimes to think, well, why, when do I, you know, why outside am I multiplying by 4, but when it's inside I'm dividing by 4. But it's some, something to think about and uh, draw some graphs for, and, and it'll hopefully make sense. Anyway, that, that's the question on transformations.